the game doesn't mean like one technique, right? The game is like a sequence, uh, a combination, everything together. You know? um, we've been working this this technique like last week, so I think it's gonna be easy to everybody understand once like uh, we start putting it together. Uh, you can you come over here, please? Can you bring your knees, guys? Anyway, you get a hold of him. Arm control and lapel control, collar control. Arm control and overhold control. Yeah. I have a belt, if I have a long arm, I have the belt. If I have a long arm, just like a, a grip on his back. Or I have an underhold. Either one, I can get really close to him and start really pick him up. So I really pick him up, so I really pick him up. As I'm getting on top, I'm looking to get a hold. I'm looking to, I'm looking to get underhold. Other side. So as I'm get on top, I have the lapel now. I get down the hook. I can get close on the hook. Um, Yusuf, just just uh, don't roll. Post your leg, you know. So I can get here. So each one. Each one, like I can go under, I can go over. Usually, if you go over, if you have a, a long arms, if you have a long leg, you have like a bigger leverage. You can really pick someone really high without having to bring him really close. I feel I need to get really close. But either one of those, I have to really get close and start really lifting up. I took his weight out of the ground, I brought his weight really close to me so I don't have to waste that much energy. Halfway, I start to pick him up, his weight start going back. It means like I didn't get close enough. All his weight start going back. As soon I feel like I don't have the momentum, I don't have the distance, I'm not able to pick him up, I close the distance again. Probably I lost, I lost the distance, I close the distance again. As I feel like I'm going to up, close the distance again. Overhook, underhook, you lift it up, but you're heavy, don't even fall back. You don't fall back. You cannot lift. He's, he's getting too heavy. Sit him down, bring him back to the ground, scoop forward, and then pick him up again. Without have to reset it. Got halfway of the move, you realize you're heavy, start again. That's it. So guys, I didn't explain the details. You know, we already walked this. We must have like a, some awareness about like what is butterfly guard. But I want you guys to start putting things together, not just break things down. So we start putting things together. So I got, I got close, I make a grip, I start picking him up, I start picking him up. Things go heavy. Halfway, I realize my knee, instead of being pointed outside, my knee starts to fold it in. Right? So one more time. Fold because many reasons. Because I try to move his weight, his weight went to the other side. So as, as his weight goes to the other side, he makes the way around my knee. As I start picking him up, maybe he kind of tap my knee and buckle my knee and don't let my knee walk the way they're supposed to go. So something went wrong and I just kind of, I'm, I'm in the middle of the position. So I go. As I'm falling over here, my knees get together. Never spread out. If my knee spread out, it's not going to be strong. If my knee spread out, he's going to separate my legs and he's not going to let me walk together and get, and get. Put your knee in between, Yosef. Put your knee in between. Look, this is just kind of like a very limited from you, right? On the side. Very limited if my knees get spread out like that. And it's so bad that I'm not only probably can't get my guard pass, I can get mount. Right pass and mount. That's how like uh, really bad was, was the option. So if I pick him up, he start getting my knee over here. Before, before he do anything, before he land. Look, before he land, I know my knees already go like across. Before he land, feet goes on the ground. Got an extra momentum. When I say extra momentum, my knee lost power. I can't pick him up. Goes on the ground. My knees, my legs together. Kick him up again. Kick him up again. I'm not kicking. 
just sweeping. I'm kicking to don't land in a really bad position. It's almost like a, I was fighting to reverse him, now I'm fighting to don't get sinking to his game. I'm fighting to like a, a scramble out of the bad like a landing. So I go over here, so my knees are going outside. Everything on this side, stay on top. Leg gets on top of my shoulder. I go on my way, stay still on the knees. I go on my way out of like landing in a really bad position. I put the leg on my shoulder, just get out of here. Just, I can get on top. If there's a chance to get trapped, take your hand out. Don't fall with your, with your arm sinking. So take your arm out, right? Guys, as you're landing, you have one control. The other side under, the other side over, the other side on the lapel, and one arm control. The arm that's controlled because you don't want to hit land his hand, you don't want to hit touch or post anything on the ground with the hand. So you control the arm. You throw into the other side where he has all the control, but just to get you out of like at that bad position. So now, as you get this control, just get out of there, try to get up. It's no more the first move again. You just have options. You got yourself like out of like a bad start. You almost went to like a really bad position and then you survive to get yourself out of there. And you just finish, just get out of there. X guard. If you wanna take your time, you can take your time. Wrapping around and putting an X guard, more like X guard. If you don't wanna take your time, you're like, oh, I'm taking too much risk, I need to get out of here. I still have some momentum. Just get out of there, get up over there. Who's on top now, guys? Just get your knees across. And then who's on bottom? Create more momentum and throw him to the other side without slip. You throw him to the other side just as a, as a, like a, a survive, survive instinct. You need to just kind of don't let him land that because if he land that, everything is going to just kind of get worse and worse in heaven. Maybe there's no comeback. Let's go, guys. Guys, even if you cannot repeat too much, just start to remember the, the sequence. Just start to add this, the, the combination and hope what also the, the reasons why, why you did one and you have to do the other one and then you end up to that one and then you finally like got to this one. Just start to add up on your mind. It's not about drill, we don't have that much time. We're not, we, we're not practicing to drill. We practice to start to like uh, add up the combination on your mind, you know. And that's what I want you guys to try to memorize. So I got over here. I got, got, got another, got another like a, uh, I, I reshot, I just took him again. But I realized like as I reshot him, my knee got across. So I lift him up. As I start lifting him up, as I'm like connect again to get him up, his weight just went back and back and like way more on the ground than before. Go, go, go. So I realized like there's no left, there's no reach, there's no leg, there's anything. So what I'm doing now is like instead of lift, I'm coming up. Keep coming close. I'm coming up. As I'm coming up, I'm not able to just kind of reset and get out of the position because he has the position, he has the angle. So from this position, what I'm looking for to stay seated up. As I'm seated up, I'm not lifting him up, but I'm getting myself out of the bottle. I'm not still in the bottle. So if I could, if I could, let's start again. I'm just get out and let's start again. I'm not get out, lift him up. I'm not get out, uh, sweep him. I'm getting out like a scooping back. So I got him up. The hand on the lapel stays. As I have this hand on the lapel, I'm gonna be looking for like a, now that I sit up, I can connect everything again. Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. Thank you. As I'm sitting up now, I'm, I can connect everything again. What I'm trying to say is this. I can go under and lift him up one more time and try one more time. I'm not lifting up from the ground, I'm lifting up from like sitting up. As I'm, I'm sitting up, I can have this elbow inside. As I'm sitting up, I can have this hand on the belt. Really get up, a lot of momentum. Um, if I get to one point over here, the person just keep getting really heavy and close to me and I'm not able to, I can face him. Start pummeling. As I'm pummeling, I can pick him up again. Or I can just go one more time to the butterfly, butterfly guard. So, so I'm trying to say like, I tried, I tried. 
Just start to like a stiff arm. If he comes too close, elbow inside. If he comes too close, hand on, on, on his belt. And then from this position, try kicking. If I still cannot kick, I can turn into him. And I can start pommeling again. As I start pommeling, I start to connect one more time. So the whole move got broke. When I say got broke, like I lost momentum. I got out the ground and I begin another moment. I'm not able to reset. I'm still of like a, under pressure because he's still passing my guard. He is not in a safe distance. He's still on top of me. But I start to like a change direction. Find other options and begin with the same momentum. So who's on top now, guys? Just stay on the ground. Stay close. Who's on bottom? Keep him away and try sit up. As you sit up, you begin another momentum from there. We hope. As you, start. you begin a position, things start get kind of like a crooked off, everything kind of just kind of uh, not, not good to start, and you start getting your guard pass. And I did the whole thing, got over here, I start in the, I start to sit up, I, I just got my guard pass. pass, pass, pass. And he's on my side, and I'm, I'm fighting to stay up. It's not because he's on my side that I have to be down. He's on my side, he passed my guard, but I, I, I still have a lot of like uh, options as I'm not flat on the mat. So from here, I'm looking for this. From here, I'm looking for this. Everything to pull him back, you know. From here, I'm looking for this. I open him just, <coughs> and start to get him back. When I say getting back, like, Stop pulling him like a, towards my way. I'm not going towards his way. I'm not going like a, towards his options. His intention is just not good. His intention is like complete opposite than mine. That's how it's supposed to be all the time. But I'm just putting all this together because I want you guys to have an idea what is to make a, a plan. What is to make a game, not a game plan because you just don't have one game plan. You just have like your whole game and you start add together and everything becomes like a one huge game plan. What I'm trying to say, like, uh, I'm just wanting you guys to have idea what is your Jiu Jitsu. What is your Jiu Jitsu? It has to be something that connects, 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 and there's not much like a dead ending. If there's a dead ending, you tap him. If there's a dead ending, he got your guard pass and you, you're done. The time right now, that's the dead ending. So should never have a dead ending. So when we choose a move, when I say choose a move, like imagine how many games of Jiu Jitsu you guys see. Oh, there's the spider guard, there's the butterfly guard, there's like the warm guard, there's like everything that can even sound more like a fun than that, you know what I mean? If you just keep going on and on about like a types of game, right? But you have to choose something strong with a good instruction, uh, uh, instruction, instruction, right? No, no. Instruction, they can add stuff. Cannot be something that like you cannot put things together after that. Oh, I have this grip, but then after this grip, I like, oh, I don't have the many options. I like to do this, but sometimes I cannot do anything from that. So it has to be something that has like a direction after that. When I say direction after that, like you like one move, yeah, but that move, like you like the move, but what, when you do this, what do you do? Oh, I change everything. You're like, no, you can't change everything. He's on top of you, you begin a move, now you're gonna have to do, you can't change everything. So what I'm trying to say, like, you have a move, that move starts to get off. You're like, oh, I can do this move too from here. Oh, but that guy can really kind of be messing, kind of head, uh, not head, but like he can really start to shove his head against your face. Like, oh, yeah, but I can do this too. And then, so what I'm trying to say, like, you can never end up with that option, never. When I say never, like, someday someone's gonna find your, your mistake and then he's gonna find the place that you don't have option and then you're gonna, get your get swept, get your guard pass or, or something's gonna happen. So my whole point is like when you choose a move it has to be something like this. It's not like a just butterfly guard. I want you guys to have, have a move that you like to do but keep adding options. When I say options like option what to do to him. Not option what oh but he's gonna do this and I'm gonna do that. Oh he's just gonna do this and I'm gonna know. If you keep having options just from everything he does to you Oh, but he goes on my back, I can do that. Oh, but he puts him on, the, on, the, on this guard, but I can do that. If he only has reaction from what he does, one day his, his reaction is going to be a lot better than you because you try match your game to someone else's game. You try just defend someone else's game. 
someone else's game that maybe he only does that game. Maybe he doesn't know anything about that game, outside the game, but that game he's mastered. That game he does that since he was like a five years old or maybe uh, six months of jiu-jitsu. He's been doing this for a long time. So if you always try to match the person's game, oh, he does that, but I can do this. Oh, he does that, but I can do that. You must have something that like, you do something, but then the person starts to do something because you did something. You know what to do that because that's something that you did, you begin. So everything has to be based on, on your begin, your initiation. Obviously, the person's gonna do something, but he's gonna do something because you did something before. Not because he began a move, because if you have to master yourself on everyone's game, you're gonna end up short all the time. When I say short every time, you're like, we can't, we don't have enough time in this life to get really good to defend, to defend and play and react and, and be well around everyone's game. We can. You, what you can do is like have your own game and your own game be like a more and more like a, a shield and, and proof to everyone's game. Oh yeah, I like to do this, but when I do this, he can do that. He did that because I did this. So he didn't begin, he didn't train on his house every day to defend his move because he doesn't have that, that initiation every day. So your game has to have a, a, a lot of options. Options based on your game, not based on, on he begin a game against you because this is going to be really hard. So the, the, the idea of doing all this move, the option, one over and over and over, I was just trying to be very detailed like how many options we, we can have. And every game we have should be based on something like that. And I hope you'll be able to like uh, see your game going in that direction because that's what we're looking for, okay? Let's get some water and get back to